to the BSU Woodwinds channel. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Lowry and I am the clarinet and saxophone instructor here at BSU. Today we're going to be talking about how we warm up our bodies. Think about it. Athletes can't just run into a basketball game or a hockey game without warming up their body. Why should we? So many of us right now especially are spending our days at a desk, in a chair, hunched over, uncomfortable. When you finally decide, okay, it's time for me to practice, what do you do? You get your instrument out of your case, you're getting it ready, and you automatically sit down and hunch over. What does this do? It constricts all of our muscles. It makes us tense. It makes things maybe hurt. So today we're going to talk about how to avoid some of those things. So, Let's get started, let's all get up together, and let's move. So, we can't just start stretching cold muscles, that's not safe. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start by hugging ourselves. That's right, big hugs. You deserve it, you've earned this. So get, get those, those arms warmed up, good. You can start by kind of going around like this. Big circles big, big circles. We want to loosen everything up so that we can properly stretch. Go the other way. Good. Kind of feels like we're swimming. You wouldn't want to swim right now. It's too cold. Good. All right. Shake everything out. Get loose. Good. All right. We're just going to start with a very simple stretch. We're going to throw our left arm over our shoulder, and we're gonna pull back just a little bit. Don't force anything. My palm, as you can see, is facing downward, and I'm just giving it a little bit of a push to get a better stretch. Good. Let's let that out, kind of shake it out. Good, right arm. Back, same thing. Palm down. We wanna make sure that we're really thinking about our posture when we do this. So we don't want to be, you know, scrunching up our shoulders or leaning forward, things like that. When we play our instruments, we all play in different ways, right? So if I'm playing clarinet, everything is right here in the center. If I'm playing flute, that's not the case. If I'm playing trombone, that's not really the case either. So we want to be aware of what our posture is and what may be a little bit offset. For a clarinet player, for example, it's fairly common for clarinet players to bring their face to the instrument, right? We don't want to do that. We want our neck to stay in line with our body, okay? So let's think about that as we continue, keeping our posture really nice, even, and in line. Great. Now let's go ahead and let's pull our arm across our body. Here we go. Get a nice shoulder stretch. You'll feel this maybe in your hands. Sometimes when I do this, my fingers tingle just a bit. Good. Let's let that out. This is one of my favorites across this body. Don't pull so tightly that, you know, you're forcing any stretch. That's not what we want. It's not what we want here. Excellent. So as we just talked about, our head obviously is very important as wind instruments. So does anybody ever feel neck pain? I know I do. So let's go ahead and stretch our neck. Here we go. And we're going to roll this way. Good, roll to the right. Get a couple of, of nice rolls in there. Good, let's go the other way. Good. Good, oh, I got a pop there. Okay, now we're going to lean our head to the right. And I just like to help just a little bit with my hand. Like I said, no forcing. We just wanna stretch right here in our neck. Sometimes I hear that, feel this up behind my ear. Sometimes I feel it clear down in my hand. So relax that left hand down. Good. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Just a slight little tug if you need it. We wanna feel it clear in here in our neck, up through our ear, clear down to our hands. 
Good, now we're going to tuck our chin down like this. That's going to stretch out through our shoulder blades, down our spine. Good, and then I like to look up. We're constantly looking down at our cell phones, at our computers. It's really good to stretch out our neck so we don't bring that tension into our plane. Okay, good. Now, if you have a wall near you, a, a plain, flat, boring wall, we're going to use that. We're going to open up our chest just a bit and also work on um, the muscles here between our shoulder blades. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to face the wall, we're going to bend our arm, make this lovely little 90 degree angle, and we're going to place it against the wall. Don't go up too high, don't go down too low, just a straight extension of your arm. And then you're going to start pivoting just slightly. Pivot, pivot, pivot until you start to feel a nice stretch here. You're going to feel this through your chest. You're going to feel this down through your arm. And we want to just open everything up. You're going to hold this for about 10 or 20 seconds. Good. Now you're going to turn back and face the wall. And now we're going to lift it out just a bit. So extend our arm. Good. And the same thing, just a pivot, a little bit of a pivot. Really nice. You, you feel this in a little different spot on your arm, you'll feel. But like I said, same goal, opening everything up. Hold it again for about 10, 20 seconds. And then we're going to face the wall again. And we're going to go low this time. So extend low on the wall. Same thing, pivot until you start to feel a stretch. You never want to force, you never want to make the extension happen in a, in a way that it hurts. Sometimes my, my fingertips start to tingle on this one. Good, okay, we're going to do the same thing now on our other side. So we're going to extend, beautiful 90 degree angle here, place it on the wall and pivot outward. Good, until you feel that stretch. We're gonna hold again for 10 to 20 seconds, opening up our chest the other way so we're evened out. We don't wanna be unbalanced, that's not good. Now we're gonna turn back, face the wall. We're going to go up, an extension upward. And now we're going to turn, turn, turn. Good. I can really, really feel this one in my shoulder and in my arm, not as much in my chest. I'm gonna hold. Good, and now we're gonna turn back, and then we're going to go low. So an extension that naturally falls downward, place our hand on the wall, pivot out just until you start to feel that stretch. Don't force. If it hurts, turn back in a little bit. Good. All right, so now I'm gonna turn around. So mm, a lot of us wind players, we, we use our face, right? So we just worked on these big muscles, right? We warmed up our shoulders, our chest, everything. We've stretched it out there feeling good. But what about our face? We work that a lot, right? We work it out really hard. So let's just kind of massage our jaw. I know that this seems silly, but you know, you're a wind player, you use embouchure muscles and kind of work down your jaw. Sometimes we get really, really tense in our jaw. Has anybody ever told you, stop biting, stop biting. That's why you can't play your high notes or your sound is closed off. It's a lot of the times from jaw tension. Good, all the way down. Good, and sometimes that can really help you out too. And then lastly, let's talk about our hands. Our hands are one of the most important things as, as woodwind players especially. So we want to take care of them. We never want to force anything here. So be very careful if something starts to hurt, if something tingles or falls asleep, stop immediately. But I like to start by placing my hand outward and just gently pulling, pulling down a little bit. Good, don't force it. And then flip it over and pull back toward you just a bit. Good. So a little wrist circle and then change the direction. Now let's do it on the other side. Place your hand outward. A little bit of pressure, nothing forceful. Great. Flip it over, pull back toward you gently, gently pull back. 
and then we're gonna do wrist circles. Good. And then another thing I sometimes like to do is I like to stretch my fingers just gently. So I will hold my hand like this and then I will just create a little bit of space. And sometimes I'll just do a little bit of, little bit of tugging here to just get my, my fingers ready. So like this, gently, just gently get those fingers all warmed up and ready to go. All right, and that is our physical warm up today. In our next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about how to practice more effectively. So if you're curious about that in our musical warm ups, how the BSU professors practice, tune in next time. Also, if you have absolutely any suggestions for stretches that you like to do, leave it down in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.